Hi Cancer, welcome to Magpie Moonchild, my name is Kaylee. This is the month ahead reading for April. Um, I'm gonna break it down into four cards for each quarter of the month and then I'll do an overall energy card, a fifth card. Um, all the normal housekeeping stuff is down below. As I mentioned, it's um, decisions, decisions is what's coming through my head and I really don't know what these decisions are. We'll get into that hopefully in the read. Um, but yeah let's see what we've got see what we've got for you but yeah all the housekeeping stuff is down below like decks and how to book a personal reading that sort of thing is all down below so let's see what we've got for cancer for the first quarter of this month what have we got for cancer we have the eight of pentacles work 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 working away working away hopefully at all hours of the night really working as many hours as you can um it is it is paying off it is paying off you are shortly soon to be recognized if you're not already seeing progress already um it really does feel like um working in the wee hours is paying off or if doing a few extra hours it will be worth it it's that apprentice mode elves and the shoemaker is coming in my head i don't know why i've got elves and the shoemaker he kept working 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 and it didn't pay off and it's always like the universe that did with the elves and helped build it all back up again so um you are being recognised. If not right now, you will be soon. The universe is stepping in to give you a bit of help this week, this first quarter. What have we got for the second quarter of this month? Nine of Wands. Yeah, it, it feels like there is something within... I don't feel it's related to this Eight of Pentacles. It may well be if it's... But this feels like a, more like a relationship thing in the second quarter, the second week. Um, one more time into the fray. Do I want to go in again? Is this worth it? Am I just keep banging my head? Um, there's a saying, why do I keep hitting myself with a hammer? And it's because it feels, the, the line is, because it feels so good when I stop. Um, and it just, it just feels like you keep banging over and over. Like you're banging your head against the wall over and over and over again. And you're like, why do I keep doing this? So as soon as you stop, I think it's going to feel better. I think it's time to put down swords. It's time to put down... I, I don't think you can bang your head against a wall any more than you already are, Cancer. Um, it just feels like it's fruitless, futile, futile. It's really futility is what's coming through. It's not It's not worth fighting anymore. It's not time. It's time for you to down, down sword, down weapons, because it feels like you're fighting and fighting and fighting. And if this is to do a relationship, the other side aren't doing it. And I think you've just got to the point where you've given up fighting. You, what's the point in fighting anymore there isn't it's futile um and if this, this is the case that you're the one fighting all the time then maybe it's time for them to pick up pick up the slack and do the work um you've gained wisdom so it wasn't futile in the sense that i've done all this fighting what for you you it's not for not it's not for naught you've gained wisdom from it whether that's knowing your threshold what you're willing to accept um what you expect from a partner going forward if you do do decide to walk away from someone because i'm really getting like that could be this that could be the case but th there is wisdom gained from this battle that you've been taking on cancer if this isn't to do with a relationship it's almost like one more time one more fight um it just feels like you're the end of the fight whether that's you walking away or whether that's um yeah i just feel like um with this uh, with the third card as well somebody's tried to win at any cost like they're out for themselves um whether this is you fighting along this can this can be two outcomes it's either you keep fighting and you're you're willing to to fight and win at any cost whatever it costs you're you're willing to keep going or this is a case of you are walking away from someone because sorry that's just gone really fuzzy um you're walking away from someone because they keep doing this because they are all out for themselves and as long as that i'm all right jack as long as i'm all right i don't really care too much as long as it doesn't affect my bubble my world my view then i don't really care what's going on um and it just feels like you've had enough of that energy um because this person wins at any cost because they don't really care that this person's now walking away from them it's it's selfish it's the ultimate meaning of selfish like you just self-centered self-preservation um and it's like i'm downing tools now it's your turn to fight if you want to win you're gonna have to fight for me at any cost because it feels like so far you've been fighting you've been fighting with very little support 
Um, let's see, what have we got for the final quarter of this month? Eight of Cups, walking away from what doesn't serve you. If it doesn't emotionally serve you, then you will be walking away because you've been working hard, you've been fighting for something. If it doesn't bring you joy, if it doesn't bring you happiness, if you don't feel emotionally fulfilled, then I can see you walking away um, from them. I don't know if this involves a Scorpio. There's a Scorpio that has the same card. Um, but yeah, things are coming to the surface, feelings that you've probably been ignoring. Um, as soon as you stop fighting, you kind of assess all these other feelings. It's like you've been fighting to avoid the other feelings. Um, and I think you'll find that if this is to do with a relationship, you've actually been kind of getting over the relationship and you've kind of been fighting. And now you're like, oh, actually, I don't want to fight anymore. It's not worth it. It's not bringing me joy. It's not making me happy. Um, which is probably why you've plowed yourself into your work, right? You've kind of disappeared off to go and do your work rather than working extra hours, rather than being at home to see the person or or whatever is coming out. Um but yeah, it's a it's a real lesson learn situation. There's there's wisdom being gained from this happening. So it's not it's not futile in the sense that you've not learnt anything by it. You have learnt, you've finally seen someone's true colours, you finally know your worth, you finally know that you are worth fighting for because yes, you're willing to fight for someone else, but you need someone fighting for you too. Um so yeah. But I think you've made your decision already. That's why you've downed the downed weapons and stopped fighting for it. Uh, what is the overall energy for this month for Cancer? Eight of Swords, self-doubt. Um, yeah, confidence. Self-confidence is taking a hit. It's about um, believing in yourself, basically. Um, this, if this is what you're coming into, where you doubt yourself, you don't think you're worthy of anything, if they take off the blindfold, they'll realise there's a way out of that cage. Um, they just need to see the possibility um, of freedom, basically. It's almost like you've trapped yourself. Also, that is a hand offering that sword. There is a message coming through to you that will make you realise that you don't have to stay where you are right now. Um, there is a way out. There is a way out. And it's not lost on me that the full moon is there. Around the time of the full moon for the Eight of Cups, there's also a full moon on the Eight of Swords there. It just feels like the, the full moon is a time to release things. Like what doesn't serve you, you release them. Off, off you go, off you pop, I'm letting you go. And it really feels like you're kind of doing that energy where it's like, you're not benefiting me, I'm not happy, off you pop. I don't want to know, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not serving me, benefiting me in any way to keep going around in circles with you like this. Um, and it kind of feels like that's that energy that you've, that you've got this month. But the fact that you've stayed somewhere, it's kind of like... You're staying there waiting for them to fight for you to validate your worth but um them not validating it means that you're just taking a chunk and giving it to them um that you're you know oh well i'm obviously not worth you fighting no they're not worthy of you if they're not going to fight for you they're not worthy of you take your chunks back build yourself back up because you are worth more than you are settling for right now and um that's why i think you will be downing weapons not let they're, they're not if they can fight for you and save it or you're more than happy to walk away and it kind of feels like that is the the ultimatum that's going to happen without you actually going to set without you actually saying it it's like you're going to stop fighting and they'll either step up and go oh she's or he's not they're not fighting now what's happening why are they not putting effort in i'm losing them and they'll step up and, and win you back at any cost or it will just go on and you'll go do you know what this just verifies what i already know and you'll walk away and it really feels like you've got to that point anyway cancer um so yeah anyway i hope that is of some use to you and i will see you again soon bye for now